Joe Hodge. Signed on loan for Derry City for six months today. Now, can we just can we just be realistic here for a second? And I know you will be. I know you're you're quite rational. But so many people I'm seeing online are getting so carried away by this signing. It's great that he's signed for a League of Ireland club. It's great for Derry. Brilliant. Delighted for Derry. But it's six months. And and I'm not knocking the whole loan deal or anything like that. It's just the way people are going on. It's, it's as if Xavi has been reincarnated and been brought back as a player again. And he's going to be lighting up the league. Of, he's coming here for his development for six months. People need to calm down. I just think they're getting far too carried away. Um, a young lad who was scholar of the year for Manchester City. I appreciate that. He looks brilliant. And he's been brilliant at underage level. But he's coming into men's football now. Jack Byrne will tell you it's not an easy league to come in and play in despite what people want to say. I hope he does absolutely amazing. I really do. I love the fella. He looks brilliant. But my God, some of the stuff I'm seeing online is ridiculous in terms of going on as if, you know, Javi has just signed for, for a League of Ireland club or something like that. Like, I just really think it's a bit over the top. Some of the comments I'm seeing. What about what, like what do you feel about this transfer? And do you think people are hyping up to be much more than it should be? Yeah, I think it's it's probably been hyped up a bit much. I mean, Joe Hodge is one of those players who does look like a real prospect. He, I, I've seen him with the under seventeens, and he looked really good. Right now, look, you're looking at the team sheets, you're looking at the clubs the players are playing with, and and he sticks out. Right, Manchester City, and uh, obviously you're not a bad player if you're in the if, if you're in the Man City, um, and he won the the FA Youth Cup and all with Manchester City. And as you said, what, what scholar of the year, whatever the player of the year at, at his age group, um, he hasn't broken into the under twenty ones really yet. I would expect he to become a key player for Jim Crawford, but it's he's starting out in men's football, and it is a big step up. Uh, first of all, even if you take the development from 17s to 19s, there's a huge amount. I've, I've been chatting to some scouts because I've actually gone to a number of these under-17 tournaments. I went to Bulgaria and see us in Croatia as well, and obviously and in England. And I saw the tournament when we hosted it here. And I've watched a lot of games, not just our games, but a lot of the other games as well. And players that can look really, really good at 17, if they don't develop, by the time they get to 19, they can be passed out. And a lot of players can be late developers as well. But often the best players at 17 are, are no longer the best players at 19. Now, having said that, Joe Hodge looked one of the best players. But this will be his first time playing men's football. And as you say, Paul, the League of Ireland is its a really tough league. He will not get a chance. He'll be up against some quality players he's going to have some phys- he's going to have to be able to look after himself he's going to get a lot of physical challenges and guys are going to be thinking hey this guy over from man city we'll teach him a thing or two so it will be very interesting to see how he handles himself it, look it's fantastic for derry city and i i can imagine the fans getting hyped up about it because joe hodge has the potential to be a top premier league player and and hopefully he does go on to be one, and, and hopefully he goes on to be a top international player for us as well, because unfortunately there's another player we can consider. Look, he's been 100% Irish all all the way up on to age. He's only played for us, but uh, until he can no longer play for England, I think obviously the the concern or doubt's going to be there. So even from that perspective, it's a nice bonus that he's playing in in the League of Ireland. And uh, maybe it can help to just to make, make sure how, how Irish he is and how he feels. And uh, I would expect him to be in Jim Crawford's under-21 squads as well, uh, certainly for the friendlies in March, um, whoever, they, whoever again, they may be against and wherever they are. Um, I might be a bit optimistic to hope that, well, there won't be fans of those, I think, very realistically. But um, hopefully they'll be on available to watch in a stream or something like that. Um, so, look, it's his first experience at men's football. It's going to be great for his development. Uh, it's great that clubs like Manchester City are looking at the League of Ireland and trusting some of their hot prospects to to come and play in the league. Because, look, 
it's a big change from playing under 23s. You know, this Premier under 23 or under 18s. I, I've watched some bits of some of those games and players can look very good in this. But there's hardly a tackle made in this. You know, or hard, there, there's a very few bad tackles and you do get the chance to take the ball down and play and you can look really good. Um what's the comment i'm using the boxing analogy but your your game plan goes out the window when you get a punch in the face uh he's going to get a few punches in the face or maybe a, a few kicks uh, in the league of ireland and it will be it will be interesting to see how he how he reacts to this and it will be great for his development potentially it could be really great for Derry because if he does if he does step up to the mark and he shows his quality. He will be a level above. Uh, if I mean, if he develops to be the player we expect him to be, he can be a level above a lot of the players in the League of Ireland. So it will be interesting to see how he how he performs and how he does. Um, not just from the experiment from the League of Ireland perspective, but also from a, a future player for for our national team. Hopefully, uh, someone who could be in our midfield for years to come. So, um, yeah, look, it's a bit early to say he could be the next Javi or something like that coming into the League of Ireland, but he has the potential to be a, a really great player. I think it's a great coup for Derry City to to get him on loan. And if it works out for them, they may well get future players. And we may look at the top Premier League clubs um, loaning some of their players here as well. And uh, well, be interesting to see how it works out. But I, I for one, can't wait to to see him. And if we do have a watch LOI or a way of watching um, Derry City matches, it's probably the game I'll be looking out for on on opening night. Yeah, I think you know it's it's one of those just with him, like just let him develop. Stop, you know, tagging him as or hailing him as this unbelievable player. He hasn't done a whole lot, as you said, in men's football. This is his real first test at men's football. So just let him enjoy it. Don't put an you know, amount of pressure on him. Just let him enjoy it. That's that's what I think anyway. But uh, let us know your thoughts on that in the comments. And uh, I look forward to seeing Joe. It, obviously, you'd be hoping that we can get a stream or something like that. You'd be able to watch him if fans can't go to games to see him. But I think, yeah, as you say, he's definitely one for the future. And hopefully this loan move goes well. 